Hello and welcome to ExcelDashboardTemplates.com. This is Steve Equals True. Please visit my blog at ExcelDashboardTemplates.com where you're sure to learn the latest posts, tips, tricks, and techniques and learn everything about Excel. All right, uh, I have created a pivot table here and I wanted to show you how you can create a calculated field on your pivot table. Save you a little bit of time uh, and it will be a field that you can use in some other things like pivot charts and, and other things. Uh, so we have some data over here for sales that uh, each of our salespeople have done and uh, um, if you click anywhere in your pivot table you will now have contextual ribbons like pivot table tools analyze and then under calculations you'll see there's fields items and sets and the first choice there is a calculated field now once I click on the calculated field I can give my new calculated field a name um, let's call this commission so we're gonna pay everybody a 5% commission uh, on their sales in my formula therefore I'm going to delete that zero it's going to be equal to sales where I insert the field multiplied times 0 0.05 so they're going to get a 5% commission we're going to go ahead and click on add on that and then click on OK and uh, once you click through um, the different dialog boxes you'll notice it is now calculated 5% of Arthur's sales equals his commission now this probably doesn't make too much sense but you can add different columns um, um, within your pivot table as well so let's say uh, uh, you had sales and you had expenses you could subtract those two and come up with net income in this case I'll just show you can uh, how you can go about subtracting each one of these even though like I say it may not make sense from your sales commission but maybe it does uh, they're gonna uh, your net profit is going to be 58,000 of their sales less their commission so if I go back to my analyze ribbon under pivot table tools field items and sets click on calculated field uh, I'm gonna create one called let's call it net income and that formula is going to be sales minus our commission I'm gonna click on it click on insert field click on add and you'll notice it's now part of our field set in our tables um, and it's saying do I want to add that to my pivot table and I do so you'll notice that 295,000 less 14,000 is about 280,000 so you can see uh, we have our net income within our pivot table um, and so if any of our values change like we find out that Charlie did not sell 8,800 it was a typo it was 836 was his sales if I click within my pivot table go up to uh, my data ribbon and click on refresh all you'll notice that um, Charlie's commission and our overall sales and commission everything has changed and been calculated uh, for us in the pivot table now one last thing is uh, let's say it was not a 5% commission it was supposed to be a 10% commission um, if I click on my pivot table go to analyze field sets calculated fields um, I want to get rid of this commission um, but I click on it and my delete key is not active what you need to do is click on the name field up above go to commission and let's go ahead and then you see your delete button is now active we can also modify it here so I can change this to 10 percent and click on modify and click on OK now you'll notice my commissions have doubled from 14,000 to 28,000 so a couple of different things that you can do with calculated fields um, that are under your analyze ribbon um, right there you can do calculated field hopefully this will help you with your next pivot tables and pivot charts Hopefully you enjoyed this and I'd love for you to subscribe to my video channel so you're sure to get the latest posts delivered directly to your inbox. Also check out the other great tutorials at excel-dashboardtemplates.com. Thank you.